Hello, this is another one of my tutorials for GIMP. This will be how to make a gradient in GIMP, your very own gradient, not just downloading them. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. I still find it weird that my screen recorder doesn't record this little object dock I have here. It's like a leopard thing where you hover over the icons, they get bigger, scroll down. I find it weird. So GIMP is opening can't wait for GIMP 2.5 where they actually have an attached background window or so I've heard okay so to start making your gradient just uh, on the gradient drop down menu click and then on the drop down menu you'll see a little gradient box a little gradient icon and it says open the gradient selection dialog click on that now it'll come up with a gradient dialog, and I have tons of gradients here. It's just like a separate window, as if GIMP needs more separate windows, but we have to use it here. Now in this dialog, click on the New button. All right, and I'm going to make it bigger so you can see. So this is our gradient, and by adjusting the little white arrow down here, you can adjust how much like each side takes preference. Well, not preference. I can't quite figure out the word. Dominance over the other. Maybe that's right. All right, now to edit the colors of this gradient, see where it says left endpoints color and right endpoints color? This is after right-clicking on it. I'm going to click left endpoints color. Actually, I'm going to keep that black. And then right endpoints color. I'm going to make it red. Okay, now this is an okay gradient, but you can get the same thing on a FTDBG gradient when you select it from the gradient drop-down menu. So what you want to do is right-click again and then click Replicate Segment. Just uh, make sure it's on 2 and click Replicate. Now as you can see this doesn't look very nice. What we are going to do is first make sure you only select this gradient. Uh, you can see that this highlighted portion will be here. So now right click again and click Left Endpoints Color. Make it a red. Okay. Now on Right Endpoints Color make it black. Okay, now we are going to replicate the section yet again. Okay, so let's scoot this over a bit. Okay, so on this one it needs to be black and then blue, and you'll see why. Oops, I forgot to just select this one. All right, so we're going to scoot this over. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and replicate this again. Okay, now we need to have this flip-flopped yet again. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip-flop it. Whoops, forgot to select just this gradient. Shoot. This was black and blue. Okay, now just selecting this gradient, it needs to be blue and black. Okay. Okay, so now we have like two beams on black. All right, now once you have that, we're going to replicate the section yet again. Sorry for replicating too much, but it is necessary. And if you want to make like a full rainbow gradient, it will take even longer. You have that to look forward to. Okay, so there is the replicated segment. Now we need it to be black and then green.
similar to our other trends. Cancel. Make sure you just keep on selecting your own gradient. You can select them by double clicking on the bar down here and you can drag the arrows to position the gradient. It's actually pretty self-explanatory. Okay, now we are going to replicate it yet again. Last time, promise. Okay, replicate. Alright, now we need to flip-flop it yet again. But I'm going to make sure I only select that one. Uh, left endpoint, green. Right endpoint, black. There we go. Now I'm just going to position this. Alright, so now I have my gradient, and I'm going to call this gradient Star Wars. Then once you're finished, just click X, and there you have your own gradient. I already made a Star Wars gradient in a previous tutorial. However, uh, I did not put caps on either end, and that tutorial, for some reason, failed. Don't know why. To see your gradient in action, go File, New. Just click a new size, and there's your gradient. And you can rename the gradient, too. So there. Hold on, my live chat thing is... Okay. Oh boy, okay. Alright, so now that we have that, why is my mouse loading? Oh no. It's installing... Sorry about this. It's my microphone. I'll just drag that off to the side. Okay. You can also make transparent gradients. I'm going to do this really quick because we're running out of time here. New gradient. If you want to make the gradient transparent, all you need to do is load left color from there. And there you have a transparent gradient. And that's when you click load uh, left color from, make sure you select the half filled in square and that will make it transparent. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Um, I love comments. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love people who subscribe. Well, I love subscriptions and I love coming home to a full email inbox and that may be weird but I do anyway. So thank you for watching this